This broadcast is a production of Onada Indians Live and the Onada Special School District. No part of the audio or video from this broadcast may be redistributed or retransmitted without express written consent from the Onada Special School District. And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to Jane Terry Hoffman Field and Oneida Indians Live here tonight as we finally get some more soccer here in action. We were scheduled for this game last night, of course, against the district foe Kingston uh, slash Roan County High School, uh, whatever you want to call it now. But uh, the Yellow Jackets and the Indians getting set for a big-time district matchup here this evening uh, as the winner of this contest this evening uh, put, basically puts themselves in the driver's seat for home field advantage for the district tournament in the postseason play. Bo Kidd here with the call with you this evening. I'll be joined alongside by Stuart Jones here momentarily as we are at midfield for the captain's meeting here right now. And we will be in action here shortly. Again, Oneida and Kingston locking it up here this evening. On a, It's turned out to be a pretty nice night here in Oneida. Sun's starting to peak out. After it's been an overcast day for the majority of the day, a lot of rain over the last few days. Uh, of course, the Indians had one game already rained out this week against Harriman, and they are taking on Kingston this evening a day later than originally expected. We will take a 30-second break. Actually, we'll take a we'll take a one-minute break and be back here momentarily with the starting lineups. And the opening kickoff, it is Oneida and Kingston here on Oneida Indians Live. Here on Oneida Indians Live, Bo Kidd, Stuart Jones here with you. As we see the teams going to midfield, we'll turn it over to Stuart Jones for tonight's starting lineups and the national anthem. Good evening. Welcome to Jane Terry Hoffman Field for tonight's match between the visiting Kingston Yellow Jackets and your Oneida Indians. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'd ask you to please stand and direct your attention to the southwest corner of our field as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. 
Now your starting lineups again. Here's Stuart Jones. Now we'll meet our starters. First for the visiting Kingston Yellow Jackets. Number three, Jaron Ginn. Number five, Hayden Hurley. Number six, Carson Ross. Number seven, Mason Isham. Number eight, Edvin Olivares. Number 11, Matt Reeder. Goalkeeper, number 13, Cole Bernard. Number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. 17, Knox Clem. 21, Bryson Johns. And number 26, Noah Kirkendall. The Yellow Jackets are coached by Keenan Heathcote and Alan Heathcote. And now, the starting 11 for your Oneida Indians. In goal, number one, Gavin Keaton. Number two, Ashton Moreland. Number five, Joshua Cole. Number six, Justin Lynch. Number seven, Levi James. Number eight, Wyatt Yancey. Back in the starting lineup tonight, number 11, Mason Keaton. Number 17, George Klein. Number 20, Miles Laxton. Number 21, Reese Kennedy. And number 31, Alex Torres. Your Indians are coached by Derek Keaton and assisted by Phil Newport, Jimmy Barna, Zach Hacker, and Sarah Hacker. As you heard there, Mason Keaton back in the starting lineup tonight for the Indians off a couple of weeks. Uh, nursing an injury. He is back tonight and will be making – guarantee you an impact on this contest uh, <laughs> it's a young man that I would not want to be defending tonight uh, Stewart coming back from injury first game Mason's going to be coming out he's going to look fresh and I got a feeling he's going to uh, look to make something happen early yeah both seems like it's been a while been a while since we've seen Mason I'm sure it's been even longer for that young man but I'm sure we're excited to see him coaches are excited to see him back on the field and and no doubt his teammates are excited to rally behind him and, and get ready for a big match here with Kingston Kingston on the, or in their white on white road uniforms black numerals uh, some trimmed in orange some just regular not sure exactly what's going on there but either way uh, Kingston on the, in the white on whites, the Indians, home blacks, black on black with white numerals, a little bit of orange trim down the sides as well. Oh, Looks yeah. As if it will be Kingston's kickoff to start it off. No, excuse me. looks like it's going to be Oneida's ball to start it off here this evening. As we get set for district action. This is a big one. I know you've already this alluded to it, but this is this is this is a huge one tonight. Kind of sets the tone. I know you alluded to it earlier, but this is uh, this one they've been pointing to for a little bit. Both teams, absolutely. Kingston. Uh, so it is going to be Oneida to kick off. Not sure exactly. We were a little confused there, but looks like it's going to be Oneida's ball to start it off. Yep, we won the toss, I think, and and took it. So. Got Levi James set to kick off here. And we are underway. Indians will possess as they look near side. Miles Laxton with it. Looks up, finds George Klein. So he's going to look up quickly, and that's going to be booted away. Lynch comes up with it and now taken away by Kingston. They'll try to work it up quick. But Gavin will come out and secure. Big boot from Big G. Mason looks to control. Kingston looks to clear out, but Klein takes it. Klein looking outside. Finds, looks like Torres on the far side. Now back to Klein. He'll look to the middle. As Levi James looks to make it through, but that will be scooped up by the keeper for Kingston, and that is number 13, Cole Bernard. Kingston now. Looks like that's off Kingston. That's going to be a throw in for the Indians quickly here on the right side, deep in their own territory. Throw in. Klein gets it back to Miles Laxton and now to James. James working quickly. It's going to go off of Kingston and quickly Onada gets a corner kick. Corner early. kick, Onada. George Klein will take the corner. George came in today, came into my room uh, there at the school. He was absolutely pumped up for this game today. 
Friday. No, I know they played last Friday now, but it just seems like it's been so it long does. since we've seen them on it the field. It really does. Klein with the corner. Deep back corner. Oh, oh. just beyond the head of Miles Laxton. Could have been a handball Keaton. in the box, but we'll. Off a Kingston defender and now cleared away. That ball's going to skip through. Torres trying to battle to get to it, but there is the speed of Josh Cole that we have alluded to all season long. My goodness. Yeah, great addition. He's been to Coach Phil Newport's back end of that defense for sure. Be a throw in for the Yellow Jackets. They'll toss that in. Far sideline controlling his number eight. That's Edvin Olivares. Another throw in for Kingston. Tossing it in will be Jaron Ginn. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize to that young man's family if they're listening in tonight because I attended school with a young man by the name of Jared Ginn, and mm -hmm. I've got a feeling I'm probably going to be saying that name a little bit tonight. <laughs> it's muscle memory, Bo. It is. Big G with a boot once again out of the back. It's going to take a hop. Not that general hard hop that we've seen uh, from this field throughout the season. Three days of rain will do that to you, though. Levi trying to put, uh, get through the hole there. This one's going to track all the way back to midfield. Cole with it. Deeks himself with it a little bit. Up with it is Moreland. He'll look to the right side. There's James once again. This one's going to go off of Kingston. It'll be a throw in for the Indians. James looking quickly, trying to make a run quick. Going to look deep for Klein. Klein controls. Poked out. Another throw in for the Indians. Klein again deep in the attacking third for the Indians. Looks in, finds James. Back to Klein. Klein going to cross one in. It's going to be deflected off. Back to the foot of Klein. Nice mm. tackle, but this one's going to go across the touch line. It will be a corner kick for the Indians corner once kick. again. Oh, Klein will set up. Indians make their shifts as Wyatt Yancey comes up looking for that back post. The Indians love to find Wyatt on the backside. Klein, low bullet. This one's going to trail over. To the feet of Kingston, but it's going to get through, and Moreland will possess. He'll look outside, finds Torres. Torres gets it taken away momentarily, but now it's going to get switched. James with it, midfield, looks up, finds. They're looking for, excuse me, Mason Keaton, but this one's going to be poked away, throw in for the Indians midfield. Yancey takes it far side. This one's going to run down the sideline. Here's Mason Keaton, mm -hmm. and his speed is elusive. Looks up, keeps it, or keeps it in. Kingston cannot be saved. It'll be a throw in for the Indians deep. What an effort from Jaron Ginn, though, I'm going after that ball. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to try to pick up that one. Mm -hmm. There's, here's Klein battling for position. Looks over, switches fields completely. Miles Laxton now to James. The cross in. This one's just deflected off of Keaton. Torres still fighting for it. Now Kingston. What battle. Looking up the right side. But there's that speed of Mason Keaton that's going to be a tough task for anyone in white tonight. There's Klein. He's getting absolutely Back held. Point. That one's pulled down. That's going to be a free kick just outside the box. And now we have a nice set piece for the Indians. I mean, George was literally – Looked like he had a, a trailer towed to the back of him there for a moment. <laughs> he was hauling <laughs> for a minute there. <laughs> Young man looked like a long road truck hauler. I tell you, George has played so well to start this season. Has he in. not? It's been amazing. Young man. So many it. stepped up and made some route, and he, he's definitely one of them. Absolutely. Yes, sure. sir. Klein with the set piece. Puts a low bullet through. This one just mm. wide. Be goal kick for Kingston. Got a sub coming into the ball game for the Yellow Jackets. It looks like number 16, Ryan Nyes. As number three, Jaron Ginn, will take a breather. That may be something that they're trying to do is try to keep some fresh legs over there on Mason as well. Mm -hmm. Goal kick. Mm. Going to get by. Reese Kennedy controls. He'll boot it deep down the field. Great. That's a great ball, but my goodness. Off of Kingston, it'll be a throw in for the Indians right at midfield. Torres 
Working quickly. Looks for Klein. Mm. Klein down the left side. It's going to be still in play. Kingston now going to try to clear up. It's going to travel all the way back. Reese Kennedy again. He'll control. Take it wide. Out to Wyatt Yancey. Yancey looks up field. Finds Keaton down the left side, but no, so he poked away. And now Kingston will try to control midfield. There's Lynch. Kennedy clears up. Now still a battle for it. It's a pinball match midfield for the or for the ball. Ball is through. Gets all the way through. Not sure how that squeaks all the way through, but a nice deflection as the shot comes off the foot of Samuel Kirkendall, and it will be a corner kick for Kingston. Corner kick, Kingston. Taking the corner will be, I believe, Kirkendall. That is correct. Noah Kirkendall. He'll line it up. This one's low and going to be deflected out by Moreland. It'll be another corner kick. We are just under eight minutes in. Kirkendall with a, another corner for the Yellow Jackets. This one, a better corner, headed on, but it's going to sail well high of the goal off the head of Bryce and Johns, and it'll be a, a goal kick for the Indians. Sun now poking out, turning into a beautiful evening mm -hmm. here at Jane Terry Hoffman Field. Look at this field. Look how green it is after all this rain we've had. I was going to say, three days of rain, it will green it up. We, <laughs> I thought we were playing on a sand pit last week. Here's Keaton, left side. That speed, oh, some contact. There's the foul call. And it's going to be another set piece for the Indians. They didn't want to let 11 get free any further <laughs> down that sideline. Would you? No. no. <laughs> I was going to say, let's ask the question. Would you want <laughs> no. Mason Keaton utilizing that speed down the sideline? I know I would not. Absolutely. George Klein is going to set up the set piece once again. Looks to be a two-man wall coming up for Kingston. The Indians looking to put five in the box here. Klein. Chips up. It's a beautiful ball off the foot of Keaton. Wow, what a piece. As Keaton just puts that one over the net for a goal kick. But that's that's the opportunities you want for that young man. That that set was was perfect. That was a great spot. Just just unlucky touch, but yeah, George put that in a perfect spot. Yeah. Goal kick coming up for Kingston. Headed on by Laxton. He ain't afraid to put his head into it. Mm -hmm. Kingston still trying to possess right side. Poked away from James. It'll tail out of bounds. Throw in for Kingston right in front of the bench. Throw in. Headed on by Klein. It goes to Lynch. Midfield. Lynch looks up. Finds James. James controls. Taken away by Kingston. As they look midfield, Yancey. Little mistouch there by Yancey. It will be a throw in for Kingston. And now we have... Substitutions coming in for both teams. For the Indians, number 13, Caden Cron, number 14, Quentin Cruz, number 32, Alex Jones. They'll all enter the contest. Back into the game for Kingston comes number three, Jaron Ginn. As looks like Lynch, Laxton, and Torres will get a breather. Josh Cole utilizing mm. that closeout speed once again, corner. and it will be a corner. Corner kick. So another corner for Kingston. That has basically been the majority of their offense has been coming off the corners thus far in this one. Mm-hmm. Flipping the field quick, and I think this is their fourth corner. I think. Uh, right. Third. Third. Booted in, it's cleared away momentarily. Just outside the box now. Kingston's still with it. They're going to try to cross another one back in. This one taken away. Mm. Klein battling, looking to try to get through. There was three Kingston defenders there. Yancey still not booting it away. This one's going to sail just high as the young man from Kingston that looks to be number eight, Edwin Olivares. Had a nice look at it right there. He did. I mean, that's a shot you've got to take when 
when golden opportunities that close to the box have, have been few and far between. Noah Johnson will come into the game now for Kingston, and it will be another goal kick for the Indians. If you're Oneida, though, I don't know if you like the fact that your defense is holding the ball back there uh, in the box as long as they did. Mm. Foul called there against Klein on a 50-50 ball. He got the worst end of that one. I on believe that, he did. On that left shoulder. As Kirkendall came right down on his shoulder, a quick free kick. Now this one's going to go right back into the hands of Big G. Gavin Keaton. He'll boot it away. This one taken by Kingston, now taken away. Ooh, good touch. Nice touch by Cruz. There's Moreland. He's going to look for a ball deep down the right side, but it's going to sail just out of bounds. James was definitely looking for the run, but unfortunately going to sail out of bounds. Now Kirkendall comes back into the game for Kingston. Again, goes back to the far side. Throw in for Kingston. Goes all the way to the middle of the field. Oh, not a ball just really uncharacteristically getting all the way back to the defense of the Indians right now. Mm -hmm. Nobody really looking to possess at the middle of the field. We've not seen that from either team. No. Ball has either pinballed at midfield or just uh, sailed straight through. Ball touched off. Here comes Big G. He'll take it and secure, and he'll boot it away quickly. Huge boot. There you go. Good boot. Oh, my goodness. That head may be hurting in the morning. Mm -hmm. That one's going to go off the <laughs> head of Bryce and Johns out of play. Throw in for the Indians. Midfield, Klein with it. Looks up. Touched on. Still possessed by Oneida. Now taken away by Kingston. Midfield, Kirkendall with it. He's going to look to make the th play up. But that ball going to skip a little bit with the wet grass that we do have here this evening, and that will trail over the end line, and it'll be a goal kick for the Indians. Grass is wet, but it's playing faster than I thought it would. And I agree. And we thought the wind would be a factor too, but it's, it's settled when, down to nice evening here. Yeah, when the sun came out, the clouds broke up a little bit. The wind has died down dramatically. And, uh, again, though, as you said, the water, you know, the water that's hit the field really not pooling up. It's soaked in fairly well, but – you can definitely tell that there's that sheen of water across the top of it still that's going to uh, keep the ball scooting a little bit tonight. Give a shout-out to our, our facilities team at Oneida and uh, also these coaches who they all work so diligently to make this field playable and really just beautiful. Jones off to Cruz. Cruz has it taken away. Still battling for it. That's number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. Hmm. Nice play by Alex Jones. Looking up, trying to find Mason. This one's going to be cleared away. Back into the box. Big Gav has been more active in the first 15 minutes here, though, than uh, I think that Coach Keaton would prefer to see. Uh, I'm certain. Coach Keaton wants to see the ball on the other end of the field a lot more than he has so far. Indians, looks like they'll have a throw in here far side, and they will. Taking it will be Cron. He'll throw it in, find Yancey. Yancey looks to play something up over top, hit it off, and now the keeper will come up and take that. That is Cole Bernard. And I apologize. Is it Barnard? Bernard? I'm not sure. Ref is called for, he's called for just a stoppage. A, just a talk. He looks like he's talking with number uh, 21. No, that is a yellow card on yellow 21. Card. Bryson Johns with the yellow card. And they're saying that it is a yellow card for unsporting conduct. So he will exit the contest momentarily, and he will be replaced by number 23, Eli Owings. They're having none of this tonight. Okay. No. Well, with the two-man crew, you've got to make sure that, you know, you get control early. Mm -hmm. you, don't want, you don't want to dictate the game, but you want to make sure that you keep control. I agree with that. Saw some chippiness a couple times on this field this year. And yes, we did, especially last week in our last broadcast, uh, the game against Central. Here's Carson Ross. He looks through. Mm. Wow, Kingston gets a ball through somehow. Big G's going to come up with yeah, it. And what a, 
I promise you, Coach Keaton, not a very happy camper right now on the Indian sideline. Yeah, his keeper is way too busy in the early going on this one, and that was a beautiful save by Gavin. It was. Another nice boot. Nice ball through. Here's Keaton. Keaton firing off to it, and it's going to be cleared away by the defense. And eight Mason Isham, it'll be a throw in for the Indians. They'll drop it back to Yancey quickly. He'll control. Looks, puts one into the middle. James with a nice stop on it. Oh, that ball's mm. going to squeak by just barely. But Caden Cron looking on the far side, trying to control. This one's going to go off of Kingston, and we'll have a corner kick for the Indians. Corner, Onada. Nice hustle by Caden Cron there to secure possession and keep the Indians alive for a corner. Yeah, he thought he was going to go out on the side, and he, he maneuvered it around and got it off of Kingston foot. So, great work. Drops it off. Back to Klein. Hit, er, hit it mm. on in the middle. Mm. This one just a mistouch. Here's James. James looked like he was going, trying to go back to Cron. It's taken away by Kingston. They're going to look to make runs quickly. That ball is going to skip through. Thankfully, the, the speed of that ball allowed it to get back to Big G at the top of the box. He'll boot it away. Mm. Nice head on by Klein, but this one's going to be headed back by Kingston. Mm. Foul going to be called, and I believe that's going to be a free kick for Kingston. Foul going to be called against George Klein. I thought feet might have just got a little tied up there, but... Again, they're, they're getting control of this game. We've got some subs due in for both teams on the next out of bounds. And taking the free kick for Kingston looks to be Samuel Kirkendall. We've got a plethora of subs coming into the game now for both teams. Marking off 10. I promise you, George is way past 10. <laughs> I was going to say, it's 10 yards on both sides of the, uh, basically of the circle. Guess we get a little better view of that from the angle we're at, but yeah, that's pretty easy to see. Ball through, headed away. Now, Kingston's still looking to possess. They still have it at the top of the box. A little bit of a push off. No call. Ball gets through oh, no. somehow. Big G has to come out and secure. Got to protect a keeper there. And you know something? Just noticed, uh, Stuart, not sure if you noticed this, but Gav not wearing the knee brace tonight. Right. I did not notice that. I just now noticed that. First time I've not seen a knee brace on Big G in a while. Number 11 and number 21 for Kingston. That's Matt Reeder and Bryant and Johns coming to the game. For the Indians, it'll be number 6, Justin Lynch. Number 9, Landon Terry. Number 20, uh, Miles Laxton returns, as well as number 31, Alex Torres into the ball game. Also a quick sub off the side. No, not, not a quick sub for Kingston. That's just a little bit of a talk quickly. Maybe some game plan. Ball gets thrown in, taken away, and booted away now by the Yellow Jackets. Reese comes back, controls. Mm. This one just touched off and taken away. Now there's Lynch trying to fight for it. It's taken away by Kirkendall. Kirkendall looks up. That's offsides by a mile. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he was offsides probably by about – Two yards or so. Oh, and thank you to our friends up at El Rey's Mexican restaurant. Lorenzo just happened to see a, a fan watching the game on the phone. He puts it up on all the TVs in El Rey's here tonight. So thank you to everybody watching at one of our favorite places to eat here in town, El Rey's Mexican restaurant. Lorenzo. Great, great guy up at El Rays. I just appreciate the way he really supports the community. And Absolutely. What these kids are doing, he seems to be involved in. <laughs> Got pictures sent to us of it. Love it. Throw in for the Indians midfield. 
Yancey once again taking the throw. Still nothing, nothing here between the Indians and the Yellow Jackets. Touched off. Here's Lynch, near side. Comes back, finds Keaton. Keaton gets through, but still battling, still battling for it. And it's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Quickly as he finds Keaton down the right side. Ken Mason get a ball through and off. Tackled and tackle. off. Tackled off, Not but it's going to be off of Kingston, and it will be another corner for the Indians. Corner Onada. Not sure we've seen a play on the ball on that one. I, I think he was a trying to attempt. I'll put it that way. But both young men just jockeying for position down there deep. Levi James going to take the corner. Levi's corner. Played off well, but it's headed off and a throw in now in the offensive third for the Indians. James gets it into Lynch. Back to James quickly. James turns. Nice step through. Foul going to be called, and it will be a free kick for the Indians once again outside the box, right side. James with the freebie. Puts it up, back post. Hustling mm. in for it was Keaton. He missed times it just a hair. Yancey up with it. He puts it back in. No play on. It'll be cleared away by Kingston. Here's Kennedy taken away by Kingston, and now they're going to make a run. Here comes Ashton Moreland and Josh Cole both. Just kick it Moreland, out. Moreland, smart play that's, by that young man. That's the play, yes. That, that is. Carson Ross will reenter the game for Kingston here on this substitution. I'll tell you, I like the uh, – I like the speed, though, back there with Moreland and Josh Cole. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get anything past those two young men like that. Throw in. Now cleared off and crossed into the middle. Yancey will take it. Mistouched it, but it's still going to get to midfield. Taken away by Kingston. They're going to try to look outside. Torres will drop it back to Yancey again. Now plays up the left side. James with it. Looks to Torres. Torres still with possession. Now cleared away. Yancey comes back up with it. This is Landon Terry with it. Now Yancey once again, far side. Looking down the left side, Levi James trying to battle for it. Oh, Takes one wow. off the gut. What a Still able to control. Tackled. Played into the middle. Mm. This one's going to be cleared away. What an opportunity. Talk about a defender being right place, right time for the Yellow Jackets. I just talk about the footwork by Levi James down the left side <laughs> line to, around that defender. That was – I mean, I know he wanted to capitalize on that, but wow. Yeah. it's good and, control. You know, to take that ball to the gut the way he did and still was able to continue the play uh, the way he did. Phenomenal action there by Levi. Throw in. Yancey gets it to his feet. Plays one through the middle. Gets to the feet, though, of Kingston. Deeks, the Indian attack to jumping. It'll be a throw in for Oneida far side once again. Yancey. Looks in. Deep throw. This one goes to Landon Terry. Ball played on. There's Lynch. Lynch plays middle. Good touch. As this one's just going to get away. Here's Terry trying to sprint to it. Lynch. Now. Kingston get it. Gets it. Kirkendall looks left side. He's looking for Ross. Ross trails it down left side. As he is marked by Moreland. Ball gets through the middle. Cleared away. Off the foot of Yancey. And it'll be a corner kick for the Yellow Jackets. Corner. Kingston. Number 26, that is Noah Kirkendall to take the corner once again. Just under 15 to play here, first half. We're 25 minutes in. Ball played, back post. Headed on, and it's through for a goal. A goal for Kingston puts them in front, one nothing, here on the Indians. And now a player down for Kingston, and I apologize, I could not see who number twelve. Excuse me, thank you. Twenty-one. Or 21, number twenty-one. Bryson Johns. Bryson Johns is the one that went down. Is he the young man that had the header for the goal? Uh, 
hope that young man is all right. As he comes off very gingerly, not able to put any weight on that right leg. So the Yellow Jackets take the lead as the Indians now will take the kickoff. Torres looks up. And here's Laxton. He takes it away. Klein looking through. James looking to get to it. This one's going to be taken away. And now late whistle going to be called. And it's going to be a foul against James. Free kick for the Yellow Jackets. Low ball is controlled now by the Indians. It's Levi James. He drops it back. Cleared through. Deflects off. And now cleared away yet again by Kingston. This one's going to squeak all the way through. Moreland's going to drop back. Control. Tries to look up. And this one going to wow. hug the line all the way past midfield before trickling out for a throw in. I thought it was going to spin for, for stay in line. Man. Throw in for the Indians. Miles Laxton looking far side. There's Mason Keaton going to be cleared away now. Controlled by Moreland. Lynch does not get to it. Now taken away by Kingston. Nice marking there by Miles Laxton. And another throw in for the Indians. Miles Laxton's footwork over here on this sideline mm -hmm. has been magical. Yeah. Now handball going to be called by Miles or on Miles there. So he was just trying to he was trying to control, but unfortunately his hands got just a little too far up. Good hustle by the young man, but sometimes that, that happens. Absolutely. Kingston. With the free kick taken away. No, they're still going to have control near side. Moreland marking it. Nice. Now, Kingston back with it. Just outside the box. They cross one into the middle and cleared away by Torres. James is going to try to get to it. It's going to be booted back up by Kingston. Far sideline. That's Ginn. Looks up for the running Matt Reeder. He'll cross one in, and it'll get over the net, out of play. Goal kick for the Indians. Substitution now for Kingston as number nine Noah Johnson comes back in. 11.40 to go here in the first half, and the Indians trailing one nothing. To Kingston, number 11 for the Yellow Jackets. That's Matt Reeder going to come off for the break. Goes short out to Wyatt Yancey, far side. He'll look to work it up the right side, or excuse me, the far side, as now Kingston takes back possession. They're going to switch field, or it looks to possibly switch fields. Keeps it in the middle, taken away. Here's Keaton. Keaton looks up, mm. finds James. James, through the box, poked away by Isham. It'll be a throw in for the Indians far side. Near their third. Goes to Klein. Klein called for the foul. Clock going to stop. Young man looks to be fine. Now sub going to come in for him. Not sure exactly why the sub comes in. Coach didn't have to come off. Oh, if the okay, so did not know that if the stop, if the clock is stopped, they have to come off the field.
Clock starts back. The Indians looking to get through here. Will Kingston save? No, they will not. And there will be a goal kick for Oneida once again. Sub coming into the game for the Indians, number 32, Alex Jones. Back in, he'll give Miles Laxton a breather. We are 10 minutes away from halftime. The Indians trailing 1-0. Yancey will take the goal kick. Ball booted deep. Jones heads it on. Goes to Keaton. To Klein. Klein tries to put one through. It's taken away by Kingston. Torres gets a boot on it. Lynch. Excuse me. Now Lynch right there, and it's taken away. Kingston through the middle. They play a nice ball through. Big G going to have to come up and secure. Kingston getting a lot of through balls through right now in the middle. They are, and, and luckily if you're an Indian fan, there a lot of those aren't uh, a little, just a little too far out of reach right in, right in their keeper's hands, but uh, still more, <laughs> more than you want to see on this side. Oh, absolutely. Ball played on. Lynch with it. Looks up, finds James. James controls, looks the middle of the field, looking for a through ball now to Keaton, but poked away by the Yellow Jackets and Mason Isham. Now cleared away again. Nice clear back by Cole off the head of Klein. Klein looking to stay marked. A mm. lot of contact. Wow. Um, that was that was a lot. It'll be a throw in. Indians have it. James, far side. Ball going to trickle over. Another throw in for the Indians. Torres with it. He'll throw it in. Back to Yancey. Yancey controls. Now to Torres. Torres pokes back to Yancey. Back up the left side. Here's James. He turns. Gets it through a defender. Wow. James puts one into the box. Mm. This one just beyond the leap of Mason Keaton. And out of play, it will be a goal kick. For Kingston. Subs into the game for Kingston. Number eight, Mason, or excuse me, Edvin Olivares coming in. Also number 11, Matt Reeder re-entering. For the Indians, number 13, Caden Cron. Number 20, Miles Laxton. Number 26, Kenneth Van Hook getting his first minutes in this evening. Just under eight minutes to play. First half. Good ball, Van Hook. Yancey looks up. Indians just cannot get possession right now. Back with it is Kennedy. Played through by Yancey, but there's Kingston yet again. This one was Olivares. He still got it. He plays to the middle of the field. And coming out. Ball going to get away somehow. Kingston still with it. The Indians just look out of sorts defensively. Mm -hmm. Very uncharacteristic for no night of team. Keaton mm. plays it back. There's going to be a push on Kingston, and it'll be a free kick quickly. Here's Kirkendall. Miles Laxton looks to play up. This one just beyond Keaton again. This one now. Keaton still with it. Right side. He's <laughs> going to take on two defenders himself. This one's going to be a throw in for Oneida. Deep in their or attacking third. The throw in. Goes to Klein. Klein touches on. Not the right ball there by Klein mm -hmm. as it goes back to the waiting hands of Cole Bernard. Coach Keaton would have liked that one a little more down the line. I, I agree. Moreland still defending strong. Saved in by Jones. Good Here's question. Klein with it. Midfield. Looking down the right side. He was looking for Keaton. It's taken away. Kirkendall. Midfield. Goes to Olivares. Olivares still battling for it. Now Wyatt Yancey gets it taken away. Left side, or excuse me, far side. Carson Ross with it. He's going to play a ball deep in. It's going to track over and a goal kick for the Indians yet again. 
again, though, Stewart, and I, I don't know if you – I'm pretty sure you see it too, but the back third for the Indians right now just not their typical selves. No, they're dealing – no, no. Kingston has some serious speed. They do. I uh, agree. In their forwards, uh, for sure. Have we seen – well, I started to say have we seen. Yeah, of course they've seen it over, over the Smoky Mountain Cup. They've seen that kind of speed uh, there, but, uh, yeah. Here's Klein. Klein looking to play something up. Here's Keaton trying to push up. It'll be cleared out. Throw in for the Indians. He finds Keaton on the throw. Keaton still controls. No call there, and it's going to be a throw in for Kingston. They have uh, they've called against us for much less tonight. I will say that. Agreed. <laughs> Ball played through. And cleared back up by Reese Kennedy. Kingston still with it. Oliveris now tries to lay one up over the head of Yancey. It's going to track back, and Big G will take it in the box. Big deep ball is taken by Kingston. Will they run it down the far side? They do keep it in. Oliveira. Excuse me, no, that is not Oliveira. That's Ross. Ross looks to play something in. This one, a shot by Ryan Nyes, the freshman, as he somehow got through on the backside uh, cleanly. That, that cross was it was really nice. Ball played up by Miles Laxton. Headed on. Here's Keaton. Keaton gets some speed. He gets some open grass. Wow. Take got tackle. Okay. Nearly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and. And still a lot of contact. Now the foul going to be called, and it's going to be a free kick for the Indians outside the box near sideline. Yeah, there was no attempt on the ball there by the defender, so uh, the official after three attempts there had, like had two, to call two something. Or th- two or three attempts, yeah. Klein. Give him his ten. Klein. Or cross in, it's headed away. James underplays this one just a little bit. Still battling for it. Still has possession. He plays it back to Laxton. But that ball going to go off the foot just a bit hard of Miles Laxton, and it's going to sail over the touchline. Goal kick for Kingston. Into the game comes Josh Cole. Also into the game for Kingston comes number 21, Bryson Johns. Good to see that young man back in the ballgame. We are two and a half minutes from halftime. Kingston not in any hurry to really get this ball back into play. Now it's booted away. Headed on by Josh Cole. What a hard head by Josh Cole, but now cleared back up by Kingston, and what a run made here. As Big G just has to boot it out wide. What a run being made there by wow. Kingston on that one. Yeah, they flipped the field really yes, quickly Yes, they that did. One. Throw in, goes to Kirkendall, far side. Now played back again, back to Kirkendall. He looks to come center, or center of the field. Looks now, plays outside, taken by Carson Ross. Now taken away and poked out by the Indians. Kingston pokes it back in. Here's Laxton. Plays to Klein. Klein looking up. James taken down after some contact, but there's Moreland. He's going to look wide si- or near side. Keaton with it. Controls. Mason. Wow, a lot more contact again. Here's Levi James. He's going to play through. The ball through and cut off was Klein <laughs> as Barnard comes up and secures. Booted away. Moreland heads it on. James hmm. Great back pass. and now booted away. Nice head off over there on the far side by Caden Cron. Throw in for the Indians one midfield and one minute half. remains in the first half. Throw in, this one going to stay in, James. Foul going to be called on Levi James. B. 
be a free kick for Kingston, and yet again, not in any hurry to get this one away. They look to take this lead into the half. Ball played off. Comes down, controls. Cole with it. Goes to Yancey. Yancey still battling for it. Still has possession. Looks far side. James Cron just overruns that one. It'll be a throw in right at midfield. But only 12 seconds left. Laxton has to look up quickly. Has to play something up. This one's going to go all the way back to Barnard. And that's going to be the end of the first half. As time does expire here in the first half, we'll take it to halftime. Kingston with a 1-0 lead here over the Indians. We'll be back with second half action here momentarily on Oneida Indians Live.
And back here on Oneida Indians Live. Second half action about, uh, let's see here, three and a half minutes away uh, before we get started back for second half action. The goal of the night, though, the lone goal coming off of the head of Kingston, and I believe we'll have to double-check that, but I believe the head of number eight, I believe it was Edvin Olivares that got that goal for Kingston. We were distracted as the foul was, uh, or excuse me, I guess there was some contact after uh, where a young man for Kingston uh, did go down. But Stuart Jones, Bo Kid here with the call this evening. Stuart, again, we talked a little bit about it over the break. Uh, an uncharacteristic first half for the Indians, especially in the back half. Absolutely. That I know. I know neither of our coaches are, are particularly happy with that. But you know they're going to make halftime adjustments. That's what they do. And I think we'll see a, a, a different defensive third uh, this half for Oneida. Of course. Of course, I think the keepers played well. Individually, some others have played well, you know. Uh, but just collectively, teammates just seem to be uh, off on maybe some, some spacing and responsibilities back there. And just uh, I think they'll get it cleaned up, though. And we talked about the speed of Kingston up top. They definitely have that speed, no doubt about it. But they've not been playing a, a lot of, uh, I guess you'd say, they've not been pushing a lot of numbers up at the top. Defensively, though, they're packing that box in. They're not allowing Levi James and Mason Keaton, George Klein, to get in there to get shot opportunities. I think we've seen that against every game we've called this year and every game I've seen here at Jane Terry Hoffman Field. Is, it, that seems to be a recurring theme. But even Bo is they just they want to pack the box, and even if it means they're not going to have as many at the midfield or, or, or to forward position, they're going to, they're going to pack that box and make sure we, our speed doesn't get around them. Yeah, that's, uh, as you said, a recurring theme. Uh, Kingston right now in the driver's seat with this one. Uh, they are 40 minutes away from taking control of the district right now and uh, basically securing themselves home field advantage for the district tournament if they are able to hold on to this one here this evening. The Indians still with a few district games left as well. They have a, a makeup game that they still got to go and uh, pick up with there at Greenback because of a rain out. Uh, that, I believe, is coming up next week mm -hmm. uh, for that one. So, And we plan on trying to have uh, at least one game next week here on Oneida Indians Live. Uh, not sure exactly. I know on Friday next week the plan is to have a doubleheader for you for Oneida Lady Indians softball. That game was scheduled for today. We were going to try to get that one in today. Rain, of course, comes into the picture. Had a rain out with Eagleton. They will now come here next Friday for a doubleheader up at Jack E. Lay Sports Complex at Bear Creek here in Oneida. It'll be a doubleheader beginning at 6 o'clock against the Eagleton College and Career Academy Royals. So we will take a break. We're about 30 seconds away from second half action. We'll be back here shortly on Oneida Indians Live. And back here on Oneida Indians Live, teams taking the field. And again, on Monday, we hope to possibly have the doubleheader here uh, for soccer on Oneida Indians Live. It'll be a middle school doubleheader, or middle school and high school contest. As we have coming to get middle school coming into the game, or coming in. Uh, for a middle school contest, that, I believe, starts at 5.30, I believe, is the start time for that one. And then the high school will host Harriman. Another that, district match. That'll be at 7 o'clock here on Monday night. 40 on the clock. Second half action, getting ready to get started. 
Kingston will have possession. Guess they need a ball, though, at midfield to be able to get started. Again, Kingston in the whites. Black numerals, the Indians. The Yang. Black, black kits with the white numerals. Kingston will start off possession in the second half. Kick off, and we are underway. Kingston with it. They'll play back. Playing up quickly. Here is Johnson. Johnson looking up near side. Headed off by Yancey. Klein battles. Got under. Possession. Near field. Ball played through. This one just a little too long for Mason Keaton as Cole Barnard will come up and secure. Cleared away. Missed. Taken down. And Klein with it. Looks near side. Torres. Taken away. Kingston with it. Midfield. Ross. Ross looks to play the ball through. Ball is trickling back. But there is Moreland. Good He'll recover. save it. Ball played in. Looks for it. And now Big G will secure. Nice hustle Ooh. back by Ashton Moreland. A little too close for comfort there to start this second half. But Absolutely. Nice recovery, though. Big G with a misstep on that one. Now here's Cole. He tries to go through the legs for some reason. There, and now taken away. Ball played in. Touched on. Yancey's going to clear it away. Headed on by Kingston. Laxton up with it. He finds James, far side, trying to make a run. He'll secure. Looks middle of the field. Here's Klein. Klein puts one on. Yes! Up the post for a goal! What a shot by George Klein! George Klein with a goal for Onada. Who got the assist? The assist there to Levi James. Levi James with the assist. What a ball. 1-1. One, one. We're knotted up. Under two minutes into the second half, and the Indians equalize it. What a ball by George Klein. What a great play by Levi James to find him right in the middle of the field. Wow. Uh, that's beautiful. And just the start the Indians needed. Just the start to give, the, give these Indians some juice. You know what? Uh, Absolutely. It puts a little fire under them. Here's Klein. Gives it out to James. James now looks mid. Er, James looks out to Laxton. It'll be deflected. A throw in for the Indians. They look for James again. Wow! Shoulders in the back. James goes down. It'll be a free kick for the Indians, and another set piece. And this is exactly what Oneida wanted. They've got the momentum, and now quickly, here they come again on the attack. George Klein. And take this one. Klein just scored one. Now can he set up another on this set piece? Far side. Looking in. This one's headed on mm. or attempted headed on by Mason Keaton. Gets a little bit of contact. It's going to go across the end line for a goal kick for Kingston, but that's exactly what you wanted mm -hmm. if you were Oneida. You had two gentlemen on the back post looking for that one, uh, trying to go for it, Mason Keaton and Alex or, and uh, Mr. Alex Torres as well. Yeah, good placement. Opportunity was there. Hit it on. Goes all the way back to Reese Kennedy. He's going to clear it all the way back up quickly off the foot of Kingston. Hit it on by James. Mason Keaton with the shot. It's saved. Here's Torres coming up with it. He goes with the left mm. foot. It's deflected away. Wow. Great defense by Kingston there. Wow. Got to give it to the keeper on that one. He, um, Cole Bernard, wow. Great save there. Throw in. Goes back to Yancey. Yancey's going to try to cross midfield. Mm. Taken to the foot of Klein. This one's just going to get just past him. There's Lynch. He'll touch it back up. 
Keaton battling for it, trying to get to it. He's in the box with it. Some contact. Keaton plays middle. There's Klein again. Mm. Saved. James yes. there, and it's in. And the, Heat, the Indians take the lead. Levi James. Levi James with a goal. Levi James. What a fantastic goal by Levi James to give the Indians the lead. Oneida with two goals inside of four minutes. I don't know exactly what Coach Keaton was telling them at halftime, but whatever it was, give them that speech every single game. With you both. Oneida with the lead. Kingston with it now. They've tried to possess. It's taken, deflected off. Klein comes away with it. Looks to go wide. Taken away by Kingston. Near side. That's Ginn. Torres battling with him. Off the feet of Kingston. Will it stay in? It does. This is Ross. Ross with it near side. He'll cross one into the middle. It's going to go well high over the net and out of bounds. Goal kick for the Indians. Levi James and George Klein with back-to-back -back goals in the first four minutes of the second half gives the Indians a 2-1 lead. Kennedy with the kick. This one's going to get through. Here's Mason Keaton. He's going to try to run it down. Does he keep it in? No, it's going to go across the line, and it will be a throw in for Kingston just in front of the Indians' bench. Throw in. Is Ross with it. Torres marks him. Klein with a great tackle there. Now he has it. Finds James midfield. Nice touch. Mm. Nice play defensively there by Kingston at number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. Coming up with it is goes all the way back into the box. Now Big G going to take his time. And now he'll pick it up. <laughs> That's just smart play. It is. Big G going to boot it away. <laughs> Takes a hop off the head of Keaton. Lynch is going to possess. He's going to look far side or near side, excuse me, off the boot of Keaton. Will Lynch get to it? He does. It it's deflected off. It's going to be a throw in. And it will be an Indians throw. Substitution for the Indians. It'll be number 32. Alex Jones coming into the game. Throw in by Yancey right in front of his bench. Deep throw. Headed on by Kingston and taken away. Kirkendall with it. He looks to clear it up. Kennedy going to send it right back. Mm -hmm. Now a great touch great. by George Klein. Here's James. James with a shot. Mm. Just sails high. Just. Wow. The offensive output by the Indians here in the first uh, seven minutes of the second half, it, it looks 180 degrees different than it did in the first half. Wow. This is this is the team we, we've come used to seeing, and we know what they're capable of. Moreland loses his feet up the left sideline. Goes Kingston. But a great Damn. recovery, yes. Ashton Moreland. Yes. Fantastic recovery, recovery as he was able to catch back up with Noah Johnson and force the throw in. He did his job there. Yes, absolutely. Here's the throw. Kennedy right. will boot it out. Another throw in for Kingston. Miles Laxton. Good He's going to boot it away. Great boot by Miles Laxton. Here's James running down the far sideline. He's mm -hmm. going to control. James still with it. Is it going to be deflected by Kingston? Don't, it looks like they're call, they're calling, calling a, goal. a goal kick. She's going to say the far side official will say that it went off of James last. A couple substitutions into the game for Kingston. Here's Matt Reeder into the game. Also, Bryson Johns returns. We apologize to those up at El Rays if I may have busted a speaker up there with the excitement of the two goals. <laughs> I've been known to do that a time or two. Big boot off the goal kick, headed on by Cole. 
Still a pinball game for it in the middle of the field. Now a foul going to be called, and it'll be a free kick for Kingston right on their side of midfield. Looks like Johns will take. Johns looks up. Looks to switch fields. Comes down with it is Ginn. Ginn looks middle of the field. Ball played on. Big G's right there. Yes. Carson Ross looked to try to play something and maybe try to catch Gavin off guard, but not going to catch Big G off guard very often. No. He's all region keeper. Time or two, and, uh, yeah, that's hard There's to Klein battling through. Still with possession. There's Keaton. Taking away Mace, or Miles Laxton with it now. Battling for it. Kirkendall. There's Lynch. Lynch with it. Midfield. Goes to Klein. Klein mm. tries to come back out quickly with it. This one deflected off. Cole battling. Kicking it out. Slowing down that momentum. Kirkendall with the throw in for Kingston. Far side. Subs into the game for both teams. Number six, Carson Ross. Number 12, Mason, or excuse me, Landon McVeigh getting his first time in for Kingston here this afternoon. And coming in for the Indians will be number 13, Caden Cron. Number 14, Quentin Cruz. Again, Indians. 2-1 lead now here in the second half. This one gets past Carson Ross with the cross. It's taken away. Alex Jones still marking. Ball played back. There's White Yancey. He's going to step up into it. And now cleared away. Now quickly, though, back to the foot of Carson Ross. Or, excuse me, not Ross. That is uh, Edvin Olivares. This one's going to go across the end line. Goal kick. Into the game. Back into the game. For Kingston comes number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. As he'll replace Nyes. Kennedy. Boots it away. This one. Tough, to, a tough touch there by Cruz. And now here comes Kingston. Near side, they're going to make the run. Ball played on. Yancey. Up with it. Nice tackle and nice clearance by Yancey. Here's Mason Keaton looking to go near side, but this one going to get just over the line a little quick there on Mason. Throw in for Kingston. It was taken by Hayden Hurley. Moreland goes to Cole. Hmm. Poked away. I believe that may have went off of Kingston. No, they're going to say it went off of Oneida, and it will be a corner kick for Kingston. Corner, Kingston. Noah Kirkendall is going to take on the far side. Substitution going to come in for the Indians on the next dead. Here's Kirkendall's corner. Crossed into the middle. It's headed on. It's going to go across the end line for a goal kick. Sub into the game for the Indians. Landon Terry is going to come in. Cruz is going to come out. Also, number 31, Alex Torres, is going to come back into the game for Alex Jones. Kingston with possession. Booted on, and there's the clearance. There it is. Oliveris looking middle of the field to Kirkendall. Drops it back to Isham. Headed on. There's Landon Terry with it just into the game. James with it. Looks far side. Cron. James back with it. Midfield. Makes the turn. Nice tackle. Be a throw in for the Indians. Battling for it over there is James and Mason Isham. Had a nice little battle over there this afternoon. James looking up. Makes the throw in. To Klein, back to James. James looking up, and it's going to get off the foot of Kingston, a throw in for the Indians. This comes into James. James looks up, makes the turn, drops it back. Here's Cron. Cron gets it taken away. And it's Isham again, looks up. This one cleared away by Reese Kennedy. 
Going to take the hop. James still looking to try to battle, take to take possession back for the Indians. There's Landon Terry. Goes to George Klein. This one's going to be still battled for in the back. Klein takes it away. Mid there in the middle of the field. Looks up for Crowan. It's taken away now, and here comes Kingston. Far sideline as they start to move. Landon Terry with a wow. great slide tackle. Terry up to James. James controls, comes back middle of the field. It goes back to Terry. As Terry just misses that one, now he's got to try to run it down. Will he get to it first? No, he will not. Up with it now is Ross. Ross on the near side. He looks to some open field, and there's Landon McVay making the run. He's going to play a ball into the middle. Big G is going to come out to secure. A lot of action there. Another nice save by, by Big G there. George with a nice touch. Goes to Keaton. Keaton back to James. James now possesses. Got a man coming from behind. James, mm -hmm. nice little <laughs> deke. Comes midfield. Landon Terry. Ball, tough touch, and it's taken away. Back to it is Ross. Ross going to play a ball off. It's going to go wide and outside to the right. And it'll be another goal kick. Two subs into the game for the Indians. Justin Lynch comes in. Miles Laxton returns. Landon Terry coming off as well as Caden Cron. Into the game for Kingston comes Jaron Ginn. Goal kick for the Indians. Reese Kennedy, he'll boot it away to Lynch. Laxton goes across the field. Here's James. Hmm. That one comes off just a little too tough off of Levi's chest. It'll go out of bounds. Throw in for the Indians far side. Headed on by Laxton. Laxton looks up. Here's Lynch. Lynch going to have to run this one down, try to catch up to it. It's a play up by Olivares. Big G has to boot that one away. Here's Jane, or here's George Klein taken away. Now into some empty space is Mason Isham. Far sideline. Ball played in. Kennedy misplays oh, this no. one. Big G, that ball is just scurrying around. Big G. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's all you can say. I know you saw it on the screen. I don't really have the words for that one. Fantastic secondary effort mm -hmm. by Big G to secure. Too close for comfort, but wow, what a oh, save. No question. What a save. Headed on. The Indians now starting to look a little tired in the back. Here's Reese Kennedy. He's going to boot it away, and it'll be a throw in for Kingston. Kingston still on the attack. Now sub in for the Yellow Jackets. Noah Johnson will return. We've got to get it over here on our side of the field. We're playing way too much, and, and you're right, Bo. It's, it's wearing our guys out in the back end of this. We, we've got to be able to play. We've got to get on the offensive. First four minutes, it definitely was. Right. But after that, it sort of went to a uh, more lax effort, I guess you would say. And Noah is just not able to, to keep it in the attacking third. Deflected off. Here's Klein. Klein playing into some green open area, mm. but that one's going to get just past Mason Keaton into the box, and Barnard will come out and secure. Roll off, and here comes Kingston with it. Far side. Going to be saved, and Moreland. Moreland steps up, boots it away. Here's Torres making the run. Torres keeps it in. Wanted to have to keep it in. But now this one's going to get over the side. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians just in front of their bench, or just beyond their bench. Throw in, taken away by Kingston. Now a ball played up into green grass. Reese Kennedy coming back forward. That ball gets through. Ball played on, and oh, it's an empty net opportunity that gets wide for Kingston off the boot of Noah Johnson. That right there was possibly their best attempt at an equalizer right there. And thankfully, if you're an Indians fan, wow. it just sailed wide. Keep playing with fire. Let's just let's hope we can get on this side of the field. There's James with it. He possesses. Looks left. Looking for Torres. It's taken away. Johnson with it again. There's Lynch with it. He'll possess. Torres. Ball gets back. Yancey with it. 
Yancey going to play a deep nice. ball. James controls. Booted away. Will it stay in? It's going to stay in, yes. Here's Lynch. There you go. Ball into green grass again. Now it's going to be a race between Ross and Cole. Ross wins it. Recovery. Ross plays the ball up high. Going to sail over the net. Goal kick for the Indians. There is not many people that I have seen be able to keep up with the speed of Josh Cole. That young man just did it, though. Mm-hmm. He is playing. He, he Yeah, that, that forward's playing very, very fast. Both these forwards are. Quentin Cruz comes back into the game for the Indians. Also for Kingston, number 12, Landon McVeigh, and number 23, Eli Owings back in. Yancey going to take it near side. Torres to Cruz. Cruz trying to play into some green or into some open field, but no one was there. Here's Reese Kennedy now with it. Kennedy back to Cruz. Cruz, Torres near side. Cruz or excuse me, Torres looking to flip field. Mm. Here's Laxton with it. Laxton trying to play outside. It's taken away. Kirkendall is going to be tackled by Lynch. It's going to be a foul. It's going to be a free kick for Kingston. Again, mm. Kingston just staying persistent in the mm. offensive third right now. Taking the free kicks going to be Noah Johnson, looks like. No, I apologize. That is not Noah Johnson. That is Oliveris. Three-man wall. Oliveris plays it up. Big G right there. Plays the quick boot. Go with it. Yep, Headed on. Can Keaton get to it? No, he cannot. Hmm. Cruz missed touches and shielded off. It'll be a throw in for Kingston just beyond Oneida's bench. Again, we'll take the throw. No, it'll be a substitution first. I apologize. Mason Isham will return. The Indians lead 2-1. Here in the second half, 19-25 to play. The throw in comes to Yancey. Yancey heads it on, but no one there. Ball going to sail over the head of Reese Kennedy. Big G will come out and secure. Good boot by Gavin. Headed on. It's going to track back towards the Indians offensive third taken away here's Cruz mm. James with it or, excuse me not Cruz it's Torres James back to Torres ball's going to be deflected away now here's Cruz he gets to Lynch ball gets away from Lynch and now Torres or, excuse me Cruz trying to battle with it Kingston takes it back Johns looks up deflected away by Cruz Torres battling for it on the near side, but it's going to be taken away. Ball played up into some green grass. Yancey going to play it back to Kennedy, and it's going to trickle back into the box. Big G comes all the way to the very extension of the box <laughs> to come out and secure. Borland going to tie his shoe quickly, and now Big G ready to go. He'll boot it away. Big boot again from G. Mason comes off his foot. Cruz, a little flat-footed there. It's taken away, and it'll be a foul on Kingston. They're going to say that it was the shoulder of Carson Ross that caused the foul. Wyatt Yancey's going to come up and take the free kick. Plays it up, looking far side. Mason Keaton making the run. Can they get to it? He battles off. Does he get it off the player for Kingston? Look. Does not. Look close. Look close. Look close. Subs into the game. Kingston sends in number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. Number 13, Caden Cron. Number 17, George Klein. Number 32, Alex Jones reenters for the Indians. Oneida again. 2-1 lead here. 17 minutes to play and ticking. <laughs> Deep into the attacking third is the throw in for Kingston. Taken away. Here's Alex Jones. Plays it up. 
Here's Keaton with it. Keaton deflects it off. Going to get a corner out of this. And it's going to be a corner, and now Mason. Uh-oh. It's going to be a corner kick, but Mason looking over to the sideline saying he needs a sub. The corner by Klein. Mm. Headed on by James. It's just going to sail high. I believe I'm tracking the ball down. Great placement, too, on that corner ball. But it Lynch going to come there. in. Keaton going to come out. I don't know. I don't know. Foul going to be called against the Indians. Because now it looks like Coach Newport calling for Josh Cole to mark up a man and stick with him. Free kick. Sails back. It's going to go into the hands of Gavin Keaton. Big G going to boot it away. Another big boot. Cruz. Boots up. The foul going to be called on the slide. Yeah, and the foul is going to be called against Kingston. Such a tough, such a tough tackle that Cruz lost his shin guard. That's that's quite a tackle. Yancey with the free kick. It's too low. This one gets away. All the way back, Kennedy. Kennedy has to, now he has to play it. Take turns. And the big boot. It's headed away, actually, by Kingston. Here's Moreland up with it. Far side. Looks up the far side. It's going to go deflected off of number 12, Matt Landon McVeigh. Oh. Throw in for the Indians. Can they keep possession? They do. Here's Levi James now with it, far side. He'll throw it in. Goes to Alex Jones. Now back to James. Quick footwork on the far side. Looking in for Klein. It's going to be deflected. James still battling for it. Far side line, and it'll be a throw in for Kingston. Mm -hmm. Ball's already in. There's a couple subs near side for Kingston, but they're going to let it play through. Here's Yancey now. Making the run on the right side for Kingston is number 14, Kirkendall. Oh, what a play away. by White. White, Yancey defensively. Lynch plays one up and now booted away by Isham. Headed on by Cruz. Now here's Cron. Makes the turn. Finds Klein. Klein trying to battle through. Heads up, folks. That nearly came right at our camera. And thanks to our camera guy tonight, Lucas Laxton, coming back and getting some extra work for us here. Throw in for the Indians. Near side, Yancey throws it in. Gets it into plenty of open space. No Indians there for it, though. Mm. Here's Cron. He'll play it up. Hit it on. Hit it, or now booted away. And now Kirkendall comes up with it for Kingston. They'll boot it out. Cruz looks middle, headed out again by Kingston. Now they're going to play into open space. Reese Kennedy, missed touches, taken away. And now here's open space moving. But Big G going to come up with it. And secure. Headed on by Oliveris. This thing's going to trickle all the way back. Big G there again. Carson Ross gets behind the defense. Big G boots away once again. 
Klein heads it on and gets it up into open space. Now to the head of James. James trying to outrun him, but there's Barnard. Mm -mm. You can shield, but you cannot put those arms out to hold is what Coach Newport, uh, the assistant coach for the Indians, trying to ask for. Here's oh, <laughs> a play by Caden Cron as he gets one into the box for the attempt, but he tried to use the right foot and instead of the left, hooks it, wi or hooks it wide left. It'll be a goal kick for Kingston. Freshman found himself in some wide open spaces. He wants that one back. Oh, well, no question. Miles Laxton and Alex Torres back into the game for the Indians. Justin Lynch fighting for possession near side, but coming up with it is Ginn. Ginn puts it into open space, but it's going to trickle across the end line. A goal kick for the Indians. We are 11 minutes away, just under 11 minutes away from the end of this one. Ten forty to be exact. Booted away. Headed on. And here's Klein. He's going to try to chase it down. And it'll be a throw in for Kingston. They try to go near side. It's headed on by Lynch. But now here is Kingston trying to make the move. Near side. Carson Ross. He'll play a ball into the middle. Headed away. Taken down to the feet of Kirkendall. Up with it. Goes to the feet of Oliveris, but now cleared away by Moreland. Kingston staying persistent after this attack. Now cleared away Laxton. by Miles Laxton. Look at the hustle there by James trying to come up to with it. Barnard will come out and boot it away to clear it as James was coming quickly towards the box. Throw in is Laxton. There goes from Moreland to Laxton. James going to try to run this one down. And now he'll be shielded off. And it'll be another goal kick for Kingston. Special thanks to everybody here involved with the broadcast tonight. Of course, Lucas Laxton coming in to help us with some camera work again tonight. Uh, Riley Laxton down on the field with some highlights as well. Um, <laughs> Stuart Jones with the color commentary here tonight as well. Time going to be stopped. Uh, Clayton Posey back. And that's going to be a yellow card on George Klein. He'll have to come off momentarily. He'll be replaced by Caden Cron. Again, special thanks to Clayton Posey back at headquarters helping us out tonight. Also, special thanks to Greg Bond with the IH Sports Network. Uh, all of our partners were there, Ben Garrett, Stuart Jones, also a part of that as well. Uh, we thank them for getting this on uh, as well tonight for you, the fans at home. Here's Levi James with it. Midfield, deflected off by Kingston. Kirkendall, far side, looks for some open space. It's cleared out by Kennedy. Didn't get all of it, got a little bit too far underneath it. James still going to control. Finds Torres. Torres looking to go back to James. But now up with it is Jones. Jones finds James. Tough tackle there. Going to go off of Kingston, and it'll be a throw in deep for the Indians in their attacking third. And I apologize, our clock. Did not get started back. We're actually at 8.23 to go in the game. Not nine minutes. So we are about 40 seconds behind on the clock on our broadcast. Touched on by Cole. Back to Jones. Jones plays up. Kingston with it. Kirkendall, far side. This touch, though, by Knox Clem. It'll be a throw in for the Indians midfield. Time going to be no time called, I apologize, but there's going to be substitutions coming into the game for both Kingston and the Indians. Number nine, Noah Johnson returns for the Yellow Jackets. George Klein is going to return as well 
for the Indians. George got to be smart now, mm-hmm. though, playing with that yellow. You do not want to pick up a second yellow and be booted from this game and the next. That next one, another district matchup on Monday against Harriman. We hope to have that one right here for you on OIL. Should be a beautiful day for soccer. I believe 81 Mm -hmm. degrees and sunny given for Monday. Kingston trying to make the run here. Once again, they play it back. This is Oliveris. Going to boot it up, but Big G goes out and secures. Gavin boots it away. George Klein heads it on. Takes a little bit of head-to-head contact there. Here's Lynch. He'll take it. Hmm. Deeks off. Goes through. Here's James with it. James looks midfield. Torres just beyond. Here's Klein. Hmm. He's going to try to fire one off from about 30. It's going to sail wide. Goal kick. Now. Kingston really going to start to try to pick up the pace offensively now as they are six minutes away from picking up the loss here to the Indians. Deflected away. Torres pokes it away. Klein's going to come up and possess. Klein looks up. He tries to find James on the run. Cleared out. Throw in for the Indians in front of their bench. Lynch with it up quickly. Here's Klein. He'll possess. Near side, poked out. Another throw in for the Indians. Lynch again. Another sub. No, they're going to say it's a throw in for Kingston. I apologize. Sub coming in for the Yellow Jackets is number 11, Matt Reeder. He replaces Ginn. Throw in. Comes to Kirkendall. Yancey comes up, makes a poke away. Deflected now this one. Torres deflects the kick by Oliveris. Oliveris looks wide now for Kirkendall. Deflected away, Ashton Moreland again in the defense. That young man has been a battler back there in the back today. He called his name a lot tonight. He's yeah all game long. Here's George Klein again trying to possess. Laxton's going to play it up. It'll be booted up into open space to Clem. The Indians taken away by Lynch. Does he keep it? No, he can't keep it in. It'll be a corner kick for corner, Kingston. Kingston. A corner for Kingston. We are under four minutes to play. Number 26, Noah Kirkendall will take. Kingston really packing the box now. Kirkendall gets through, balls down, and ball is in. It's a goal. Kingston gets the goal. It's off the foot of Noah Johnson. And this game is now knotted up at two apiece. It was deflected by the Indians' defense, but somehow Johnson stayed persistent with it. And now the Indians with it. They have to work quickly now to try to get that goal back. 4.25 to play. Can't do that. Dangerous play going to be oh, called, and that's oh. no. They're going to call that against the Indians. Kingston continued to play on the ground. That's interesting. Here's Kingston going to play a ball deep. Yancey heads it on. Here's Klein. He's going to play into empty space. Up the left side. He does save it, but James is there. James looks middle. Oh, George Klein, he's going to get taken down, and it's going to be a free kick for the Indians just outside the box. I believe Yancey's going to take this one. Got to back them up here. Yeah, the, they're, they're going to take the wall and back it up drastically because there's no way that that's 10. promise you that. They only miss it by about four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yancey's going to set it up. Three-man wall. 
Yancey, oh, puts it right off the head of a Kingston defender. It's kicked away. Here's Moreland. Moreland's going to play one up, but it's going to scoot over the touchline and a goal kick. Official game clock says 245. Played on. The goal kick gets into free space. Yancey travels back. He's going to not be able to save it. It's going to be a throw in for Kingston just beyond their bench. The throw in. Goes to Ross. Ross. Foul called. Wow. And now Kingston with a set piece. It, that was right in front of us. I didn't not sure we see anything worthy I, I of a foul I there. I didn't see much there. I didn't. Taking it will be Samuel Kirkendall. He'll play. He looks backside. And this one's going to somehow be saved. It's cleared away. And now up with it is James. But it's 1v4 for James. No foul called. Up with it now, Ross. Ross going through defenders. Tackled by Laxton. Laxton trying to clear. Handball called. Free kick. We are a minute 30 away from the end of this one. Ball played up. Headed on. Torres with it. Torres controls. Handball Hand. possibly called. No handball called. They're going to let it play. Here's Yancey. Yancey going to play up. Middle of the field. He plays the ball into the center of the field. Headed on by Kingston. Now here's Lynch. Lynch plays it in. Deflected away. Now out. It'll be a throw in for the Indians. Just beyond their bench. They got a hustle. One minute remaining. One minute left to go in this one. Lynch looking quickly. He goes in to Klein. Klein with it. It's pushed out by Kingston's number five, Hayden Hurley. Klein now is going to take the throw. Got to move quick if you're George. Looks for a deep throw. Gets into the middle and cleared away. Contact got made. Got a shove at the half line. And the Indians now have got to hurry if they're going to try to get something played off. 25 seconds. Here is Reese Kennedy. Kennedy going to play a deep ball. Back corner. Levi James had the opportunity. Mm. It's going to be a corner. It's going to be a corner. they got to hurry. But a sub going to come in for it's Kingston. No, because they're not the one that's ahead. Well, ahead, yep. There's no clock stoppage being asked for. So it is a – Clock is out. It is a district match. I do believe we have five-minute overtime, correct? We have to have a winner. We'll check this. We'll stick with it right here. I'm pretty sure minutes. it's a five-minute. Five-minute. So we will head to overtime. We'll stick here with it and find out exactly how they're going to go with overtime. I believe, if I am not mistaken, I believe this is a 10-minute golden goal overtime period. Or I think they may actually have the option of it. We'll see what they choose. Because it is a district contest, as Stewart said, we must have a winner in this one. Are we, what are we doing here? So it's going to be, so it's going to be two 10-minute overtime periods.
Got it. So we were just informed. It will be two 10-minute overtime periods. No golden goal. If we are still tied after the two overtime periods, we will go to a penalty kick shootout. Well, you got your uh, you got your wish tonight. If you wanted a great game, you got it. If you wanted extra time, you got it. I promise. Uh, <laughs> what effort by both teams right now in this one, Stuart? Get your popcorn ready uh, if you're at home watching this one because this has already been exciting. We expect nothing less these last two overtime periods. So 10 minutes, then they said about a minute, minute and a half in between the two overtime periods. We'll do, an, or we'll do another 10. If there is no winner, then we go to the PKs. We'll take a break. Take about a one-minute break. We'll come back, and we will have overtime period Number one, it's 2-2, the Indians of Oneida and the Yellow Jackets of Kingston right here on Oneida Indians Live. Captains are at midfield as we are back here on Oneida Indians Live, 2-2. Two to two. We have us a nail-biter here this evening as Oneida and Kingston jockeying for top position right now in the district and putting themselves in the driver's seat for the home field advantage in the district tournament. Bo Kid, Stuart Jones here. With the call this evening on Oneida Indians Live, and again, Stuart, uh, the Indians, talk about coming out with a flurry at the beginning of the second half. A pair of goals, one from George Klein, the other from Levi James, gave the Indians the 2-1 lead, but Kingston stayed persistent at the end of the second half, and finally it was a goal off of the corner kick, off a deflection, by I believe that was Oliveris that gave the Indi or that gave excuse me the Yellow Jackets the equalizer. This has been back and forth. We did see a flurry to start the second half, and who's hoping the Indians be able to sustain that? But uh, Kingston they came to play too. I think these their kids know uh, just like ours do exactly you know what's on the line, what's at stake here, and what it would mean to secure home field advantage in the district, potentially. I mean, they, they both have quite the district slate, you know, but uh, just kind of uh, still. But, um, you know, it's, most oh. people predicted this to be the team still. Yes, I was going to say, that. I believe at the beginning of the season, these are the two teams that uh, many circled that would be at the top of the uh, district here in this one. So, again, two 10-minute overtime periods. No golden goal. So, we will see how things progress here. The Indians will go from left to right on your screens. Indians in the blacks. White numerals once again. Kingston in the all-white kits with black numerals. Sun starting to set here. Lights are on. You're getting the action right here on Oneida Indians Live. We've been under the lights since 4 o'clock. <laughs> it seems like it, yes. <laughs> we are underway. Yancey looks wide. And 
Klein will possess. Lynch looks up. Up with it is Laxton. Laxton battling through two defenders. Still has it. Looks wide, finds Alex Jones. Jones plays up into space. Levi James tracking it down. But this one booted well away by Kingston. It'll be a throw in for the Indians near side. Alex Jones to throw it in. He finds Klein on the run. Possesses. Mm. Puts one into the box. It's headed away. Coming down with it and now going to be deflected. It will be a throw in for the Yellow Jackets. Deep in their defensive third, though. Can the Indians take it away? Headed on by Jones, but now comes down or coming down with it is Kingston. They try to play into the empty space. It's deflected by Reese Kennedy. <laughs> White Yancey going to take a little bit of a nudge there from Reeder, and it'll be a throw in for Kingston. Kirkendall now with it at his feet. He goes to the feet of Carson Ross. Now cleared away. Laxton with it. Far side. He finds George Klein. Now three defenders there for Kingston. And now they play it up and through. Kirkendall with it. He plays up into empty space. The rundown from Reeder. Kennedy clears it away. Headed on. Brought back down to the feet of Ross. Taken away. Far side, the Indians with it. Midfield, Torres looks up, finds Laxton. Laxton looks midfield. He was trying to look uh, into the center there for James. Here's Klein. Klein plays one up into mm. the middle. There's Laxton. High Dangerous kick. play going to be called. And it's going to be a free kick for the Indians just outside of the box. Just a foot outside of that box came that high kick. So just, and I mean just outside of the box, look how close this is going to be. And they have to give them, they have to give them 10 yards. So now look where that wall is going to sit. Mm. How do you play this, Bo? Uh, I think it's Levi James taking the kick, and if it's Levi taking the kick, I'm not sure that I don't let him fire one off at the goal. Unless this is just a quick touch and Klein takes the shot. This indirect. Quick it is. touch. <laughs> it's indirect and it is deflected away by the wall. Here's Moreland. Up with it. It goes to Jones. Back to Klein. Mm. Jones going to make the run into space. Coming out to get it will be Barnard. He'll throw it away. Up with it to the feet now is Samuel Kirkendall. Near side. Moreland. Deflects it away. Here's Klein again. Off the feet of Kirkendall. It'll be a throw in for the Indians. Great footwork there by Klein. He finds James. James looking for Jones. Jones in some open space. He just found a Crosses crease. Crosses it in. Ball squeaks all the way through. Now here's Klein again. Klein going to put a shot. Oh. He's going to sail high and wide. You've got to take those. When you, when you get an open look at the back of the net like that, you've got to take I it. I agree. Six minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the first overtime period. Again, two periods of overtime will be played. Goal kick headed on by Yancey. Comes down to the feet of Laxton. Now back to Klein. Klein puts it up in some space, and it's shanked off. Here's Laxton trying to fight for it. It's cleared away, and it'll be a throw in for the Indians. Now Kingston players down. We'll wait to see if they stop the clock. Still no clock stoppage yet. Now he'll get up. Burns a few extra of those precious seconds off the clock. The throw in comes to Klein. Klein back to Torres. Torres tries to clear or tries to cross into the center. This one just gets past James and it'll be cleared up. Kennedy up with it. Tries to play it up. It's off the chest of Kingston. They still have possession. Middle of the field, coming through with it is Ross. And now going to be cleared away by Reese Kennedy. Throw in for Kingston in front of their own bench. Throw in. Mm. 
There's James with it. Jones overruns this one. Ball played into the center to the feet of Matt Reeder. He'll play it back. That's Olivares. Olivares looks middle, cleared out by Cole. Laxton heads it on, possesses, turns back center of the field. Did not see the defender as he saw a running Levi James. Headed on, throw in for Kingston. Subs into the game for Kingston. Number 23, Eli Owings. Number nine, Noah Johnson into the game for Kingston. Thank you to all of our viewers at home right now. I believe over 120 viewers right now total here in this one between the Oneida Indians Live broadcast on uh, OHS Athletics, YouTube, and then 100 as well uh, there on IH Sports Network. Thank you to everyone tuning in tonight uh, for this great contest. Got my Moreland backing up uh, Kennedy there. Moreland finds James. James with it. Man coming. James puts one into space. Making the run is Klein. Going to be finally booted away by Isham. Throw in for the Indians near side. Klein up with it quickly. Here's James. He plays it off. He's got a shot at it. No, he does not. Now there's four mm. defenders mm. in front of him. Talk about converging quickly in the box. Wow. Wow. James with it. Goes back to Klein. Klein kicks it, deflected by Kingston. Booted out. It's off the foot of Klein. Throw in for Kingston. Just under three to play in the first overtime period. Deflected off. Another throw in. Subs in for Kingston. It's number 21. That is Bryson Johns. The throw in, near side, headed on. Deflected out as Kirkendall was looking to play that one up. It's out of bounds, throw in for the Indians. Moreland, near side, just beyond his bench. The throw in, comes to the feet of Alex Jones. Taken mm. away, up the left side, it's Samuel Kirkendall. He looks centered, deflected away by Josh Cole. Kirkendall puts it back into the middle. Ball played on. Great hustle, though, by Yancey to boot that one out. Clock stopped. Looks like we've got a possible cramp on the far side. Looks to possibly be Oliveris came up with the cramp. But the clock was stopped, so they're going to have to sub him out. Coming on will be Reader. Now, Oliveris must come off. Clock starts back, and it's a corner kick for Kingston. Ball played on, headed out by Yancey. <laughs> Klein gets it taken away. They're in the box. Kingston with a shot attempt. It's deflected away by Lynch. Ball played on, and it's wide. Minute 27 to play in the first overtime period. Reese Kennedy boots it away. Far sideline off the chest of Kingston. They control Kirkendall. He has it. Looks middle of the field. Carson Ross, he'll play a ball off. What a oh, save wow. by Big G. Booted out. And it'll be a throw in. For Kingston, they still have it. Far side, deflected away. Brought down by Yancey. Yancey with it. 
He'll boot it. Away. He'll boot it away. Kingston still with it. They still try to attack. Here's Noah Johnson with it. He'll play a ball off. It's deflected away. Ball still in the box. Now cleared away. Back with it is Kingston again. They're going to play another one deep into the box. This one sails wide for another goal kick. And we are 25 seconds away from this overtime period being done. Low goal kick controlled by Kirkendall. Brings it down. Here's Ross. Ross playing in the middle of the field. Ball deflected off by Cole. Moreland. He'll boot it away and clear it out. Played up by Isham. Kirkendall. And that is the half. First overtime half is over. We are still knotted up nothing, nothing. And that we is had, the end of the first of two overtime. We head to the second overtime period. We'll take a 30-second break. Come back. Actually, let's take a minute break. One minute break. We'll come back for overtime period number two. Oneida and Kingston locked up at two apiece here on Oneida Indians Live. Overtime period number two. Shortly getting ready to get started. Kingston back on the field. They'll be going left to right on your screens here in overtime number two. The Indians right to left in the home blacks. Again, this is not golden goal. The entirety of the period must be played. If we are still locked up at two apiece or three apiece, whatever, if it is still tied at the end of the period, we will go to a penalty kick shootout to decide the winner in this one. Bo Kidd and Stuart Jones here with the call this evening. Kingston will possess to start the half. Moreland deflects it away. Kingston with it at midfield. They'll drop it back and try to play up into space. It'll go over the or over the touch line, and it'll be a throw in for the Indians. Far sideline, Moreland takes. Hmm. Taken away, Lynch boots it up, finds Levi James. He controls, still has wow. possession. Plays through, looking, trying to play through. Here's Klein. He'll have it taken away. Noah Johnson with it. Johnson, near side. Lynch trying to keep pace. Near side, deflected off. Be a throw in for Kingston. Subs coming in for Kingston. Number six, Carson Ross. Number 12, Landon McVay also in for the Indians. Number 13, Caden Cron. Torres comes off as well as Ginn and Reeder for Kingston. Noah Johnson with it. Caden Cron battling hard. It'll be another throw in for Kingston. Kingston throws it in. They find Ross. Ross looking middle of the field. Back to Oliveris. Mm -hmm. Ball played on. This one's going to sail well high and wide. Mm -hmm. Goal kick for the Indians. What a game tonight for you here on Oneida Indians Live. Battle. Almost 92 minutes so far in this, this game, this match. Wow. Both teams. Kennedy with a nice boot off the goal kick. This one's going to skip through. Deflect it out. 
And to the feet of Alex Jones, but now taken away by Kingston. Up with it. And looking wide, Wyatt Yancey still battling for it. Near side. This one's going to get away. The question is who gets to it first? And here's Lynch. She'll clear it away. Now taken back by Kingston. Johnson with it. And a foul going to be called. It'll be a free kick for Kingston. I didn't. Taking the free kick for Kingston will be number seven. No, I thought it was going to be Mason Isham. It will not. It'll be number 14, Samuel Kirkendall. One-man wall, George Klein stands in front. Kirkendall's ball sails back post. It's going to go well beyond the reach of any yellow jacket. It'll go across the touchline, goal kick. Reese Kennedy will take the goal kick. To Lynch. Lynch tries to control. Kirkendall comes down with it. Goes wide. Mm-hmm. And that one's touched off too hard as he it was Noah was looking for Samuel Kirkendall on the far side. And he'll go out for a throw in. Now here's Noah Kirkendall taking possession back. Far side. Alex Jones battling for it. Now coming up with it is Ross. Ross gets through one defender. Plays into some space. Wyatt Yancey battling for it in the middle of the field. Ross with it. Looks off. There's Kirkendall. He'll shoot one off, but goes wide. Another goal kick. We sit just over six minutes away from the conclusion of overtime period number two. Headed on. Goes to James. (laughs) James, slick little header, but now this one is taken away. Lynch. Boots it up into space. The deflection should be a throw for the Indians, and it is. Deep on a throw for Cron coming up. Cron deep in the attacking third. Finds George Klein. Kicked out by Kingston. The throw in. Kingston looks to try to clear. This one's booted well out of play. To Walgreens. It, it was on its way. Some tall grass finally slowed that one down. My goodness, I thought that one was going to be going down. U.S. 27. <laughs> yeah, thought we were going to end up at the red light. The throw in will be Yancey. Deep throw in into the center of the box. It's down, headed on by James, but right into the hands of the awaiting keeper, Bernard. Quickly, here comes Kingston on the counter. The ball gets through. This is Carson Ross, the shot off, and it's a goal. Carson Ross finds the back of the net on a very quick transition goal for Kingston. And it's 3-2 in favor of Kingston. Oh, he says the clock continues to run. Here's Klein. They're looking to work quickly. Here's Laxton. Foul called. Mm. And the foul is going to call against is going to go against Miles Laxton and the Indians. We had possession there, and the foul called against us. He didn't initiate the contact either, but that's okay. Ball deep into the box. Big G going to come out and secure. He's going to try to flip the field quickly. Here's James comes down with it. It's George Klein. Back to James. He's trying to make the run. Ball gets through. James still with possession. Plays it to the center. Here's Klein. He's in the middle of three of them, and it's a foul called. The Indians will get a set piece just outside the box. Okay. Okay. 
And now you've got a Kingston player down. Clock's going to stop. He'll have to come off with 340, 338 to play somewhere around that area. Looks like a cramp, and you can certainly understand that. These boys have been playing for almost but 100 if, minutes. That's true, but if the clock was stopped, they, he must come off. Mm-hmm. They're not going to make him come off, I guess. Mm. Not sure about that. They've not rolled the clock George yet. Line. Shot off, deflected by the wall. James still with it. He plays it back. Here's Kennedy. Gets it taken away. It's Noah Johnson up the far side. It'll be a throw in for the Indians. Here's Moreland up with it. He's going to try to work quickly down the sideline. Back to Moreland. Moreland tries to play up. It's taken away by Kirkendall. Kirkendall looks middle of the field. Kennedy with it. Taken away. Yancey still battling for it. Here's Yancey. Near side. Takes it across midfield. Looking up, Yancey's got to find something in the center of the field. It's headed on, and now to the feet of Torres. Torres tries to play something up. It's deflected away out by Bryson Johns. Throw in for the Indians, midfield. Torres with the throw, near side. James with it. Three <laughs> yellow jackets converge. Here's Torres. It's taken away and punched away. Kingston on the counter. Carson, far side. He was the go-ahead goal just moments ago. He's still going through the defenders. Here's Big G. He picks it up. Gavin Keaton trying to flip fields quickly. There's the boot. Off the head of Miles Laxton. Headed on. Jones deflected. Throw in will be the Indians. Laxton working quickly. Gets it into Klein. Steps in front. It'll be a foul against Klein. Oh. It, will be against, it will be against Klein. Clock is running, and we are at a minute, just over a minute and a half. Kingston with a 3-2 lead. Now another man down for Kingston here on the near side. Now he gets up quickly. As play begins, Klein gets up. Now he's taken down once again. Here's Ross. Wow. Taken away. Yancey up with it. No, coming back with it. Stop clock. Clock is stopped. And now Kingston again with a player down at midfield. That is number 12, Landon McVeigh. Number three, Jared Ginn, or Jaron Ginn. Number 11, uh, Matt Reeder. Number 14, Samuel Kirkendall all coming on for Kingston. Clock will start back on the whistle. White drop ball from this deep. How did we get this? Not sure exactly why this is a white drop ball, but they're going to say it's a white drop ball. This was the I foul, the, if anything, occurred at midfield. And I thought the – well, the foul – or it wasn't a foul at midfield. The player was down at midfield. Okay. And then they called – the or then they called play to stop. But Yancey had possession. This one's a drop ball through. Somehow it's going to squeak away. Kingston with it, midfield. Here's Yancey, up with it, taken down. One Here is Ross man. again. Yancey trying to possess. Far side, he plays the ball up through. Ball scoots through, now it's booted away by Kingston. We're under a minute. It's got to be a quick throw in for the Indians. Here's Moreland with it. 
He's got to look quickly down the side. Back now to Moreland. Comes to the middle. Plays up. Here's Kennedy. Kennedy missed touches, but still gets to Klein. Klein looks up. Deep ball down the right side. Can Laxton get to it? No. James can't get to it. Throw in for the Indians. Far side. Clock still runs. Ball's played in quickly. James plays the ball in. It's deflected away by Kingston. Here's Lynch with it. Lynch plays the ball in. Barnard secures. And that should be the ball game. Here's Gancy with it. He's going to have to put a big boot into this one. And that's going to be the ball game. The Indians fall to Kingston here tonight by a final of 3-2 to two in overtime. The game-winning goal off the boot of Carson Ross here late in overtime period number two. We'll be back with post-game comments from head coach Derek Keaton here momentarily. Again, the Indians fall here tonight to Kingston 3-2 to two in overtime. We'll be back here shortly on Oneida Indians Live.
Back here on Orlando Indians Live. The Indians fall tonight to Kingston in overtime by a final score of 3-2. to two. Bo Kidd here with you, now joined alongside by head coach Derek Keaton. Coach, uh, let's th- start off talking about the first half a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Oneida comes out. The defense, <clears throat> the, the back half, looked a little out of sync mm-hmm. early on. Yeah. Talk to us about that a little first. So, coming into this game, we had a concern. We've played one game in 16 days. Yes. And hadn't played in a week, and before that, 10 days. And so, we knew we was going to be a little bit rusty, Mm -hmm. so to speak. And you could see it. We were just our touch and everything. And Kingston's a good team. They've – First 11, 12 is really good, and they move the ball well, and they've got plenty of speed. So they were, they had enough speed to cause you uh, confusion. Mm-hmm. But as the game, as the game went on, everything settled in. Mm-hmm. Um, their score came off of a corner in the first half and a corner in the second half. Mm-hmm. And we've told them and told them the first touch is so vital. But um, just felt like that not playing in 16 days really had us a little bit out of sync. And we we were concerned about that as coaches, yeah. you know, coming in. Uh, but they battled, you know, they battled. So go into halftime down one nothing. You come over, you speak with your team. We saw the speech. Wish we could have put it on. It was a great halftime speech, honestly. Mm-hmm. The beginning of the second half. Yeah. It was like a completely different script. Yeah. Well, um, you know, our guys they were they were being very physical with us. You could see that, and so we challenged them. Uh, but we started attacking the middle of the field. We started winning the middle of the field, and that's the key. Whoever wins the middle of the field in soccer is who's going to win. And and so we come out and had a good, had really a lot of momentum. Everything's going good, and then Mason started tightening up. Yep. Now he didn't pull that. it or hurt it or nothing, but he just started tightening. We did not want to risk that that's because he pushed a lot of minutes tonight, first time back. Yeah. And so we made the decision that you know what, we're not gonna we're not gonna injure him. We've had to be without him three and a half weeks, and and you see we're just different when he's out there. Yeah, him absolutely. and Levi and, all, and those guys work together. And anything but uh but when that happened at about the 12 13 i just felt like we lost a little momentum and we were sort of kind of hanging on again yeah and i felt like that the uh the last few minutes had a little bit of a fatigue type mm-hmm. thing but again corner uh felt oh, oh we're good oh is it still going yeah we're um good. felt like that we had a um a chance to head that ball out just missed it it ping-ponged around and um and then from there um, it was just – it was a ball game. <laughs> yeah, no question. Uh, no question about it. Definitely a ball game. Uh, your guys take it to overtime mm-hmm. as uh, Kingston was able to get that equalizing goal. Uh, overtime. Let's talk Let's talk a little bit about overtime <laughs> there. Of course, uh, first off, your goal is coming off of uh, a brilliant ball to George Klein early mm-hmm. on in the first half – or in the first, first part of the second half. Yeah. And then Levi James coming right back two minutes later yeah. giving you the early, or giving you that advantage yes. for the rest of the second half up until about three minutes to oh, play. So proud of those boys. And they, they were moving the ball well, and we were one-touching it and all those things. Um, and I felt like once we got into to halftime, it was the battle of who wanted it more. Yes. Does that make sense? And you could see it, and it was back and forth. It was just a good old-fashioned soccer game, yeah. you know. And, <laughs> uh, you know, for, they were tired and cramping and, uh, and everything. And we subbed a little more than they did, so mm-hmm. it was a little more fresh. But at the end of the day, they had some mature young men out there, and we had quite a few freshmen out there running around too. And uh, But I, I'll tell you this. you got to give hats off to Kingston. I mean, they battled, and they battled, and they battled and uh our guys battled i mean they they gave they left everything on the field um but you know i told the boys we're a may team i've been telling everybody you said it i've said we're a may team and you can see the young boys coming you can see them out there just making plays miles all over the field making plays you know jones got a lot of mints tonight but you you go back to george and uh levi uh mace and uh, yancey and reese and gavin you know th- those guys uh, they've been around a long time we're going to be okay we got good leadership and uh, you know when lynch played well tonight i mean it's just two good teams battling it out a young, a young man that we said the name a lot tonight and for some reason in my mind stuck stuck out defensively for us and that was ashton moreland ashton moreland the young man uh, you know only been playing soccer a little over a year okay and he just keeps battling. And the young man, hey, I love that kid. And he's only getting better. Yeah. I mean, he just keeps getting better. And you could see, like, in the first half tonight, there was a miscommunication. And, and he's he's a sophomore, and he's still working and, and young and those things. But we're basically senior laden back there. But he just keeps making plays. And he's he's going to be better in May than he is now. Yes. You know, his foot contact's getting so much better. He's driving the ball out. First of the year, he couldn't even make foot contact. So, it's, uh, you know, keep doing drills, keep working, keep working on the IQ. We're, we are going to be okay. I keep telling everybody, don't. Don't worry about this team. This team here's got it. They've got it. It's just going to take us. When you when you lose the all-time leading score, 
and a guy that can create like he does. And, you know, that ping for, pong down for there. Three, was, for three and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's going to affect you. And these guys have battled and done. But what they do is they start – it doesn't keep you in balance, mm-hmm. so to speak. And so you – and actually what we've done in half in, in overtimes, I brought Miles back. I said, we got to be offensive. And we, mm-hmm. we created some nice looks, done everything we needed to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, I felt like their senior-laden forwards – probably create a little bit of pressure on those corners and then that last goal down there you know so we 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 marked him there most of the second half but we did not mark him in overtime and and that's that was probably a a, a, uh you know i put this game on me i told him i said guys those corners we we've not worked enough yet we're still working on them but that that's just one of those things where you you hate it feel like you want to put the team in a situation to be successful but hey i'm not i'm not down i'm telling you i've been very Focused on May this year. That's where it's at. <laughs> you, talk, you talk about uh, the the gap between games. <laughs> now all of a sudden you have this game tonight. We're supposed to play played last night, but now you play this game tonight. Yeah, you got a quick turnaround. You've got another. You've got a, another district game on Monday yep. against Harriman. Yeah. Uh, what What do you have to tell your team on this quick turnaround? Honestly, Bo. Best thing we can do right now is play soccer. Mm-hmm. We I've told them I said we've practiced so much and they've heard me talk and I've heard I've watched them practice. I told them I said guys, y'all are tired of hearing me talk and I'm tired of watching y'all practice. This time <laughs> go play some soccer. You know, we just need to play, Bo. Yeah. We we need young kids getting time. We have played just a gauntlet of schedule and it just keeps Absolutely. coming. Absolutely. And and you can see, you know, a month ago. <clears throat> we wasn't ready for this team a month ago, I'm just gonna be honest, but when we went to Gatlinburg, we grew up, and mm-hmm. uh, we are going to be okay. I promise you, we're going to be just fine. And so we just got to get everybody healthy. And, hey, I had Caden Kron's nicked up. He's got a little bit of a growing issue. Uh, you got backup goalies hurting. Mason's got still just, just recovering. He's He he didn't do or hurt. It's yeah. just that many minutes you just want to Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, know. he put in 65, 70 yeah, minutes tonight, yeah. so we, absolutely. And we did not want to risk that. On uh, a cool night, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's no. <laughs> the other thing, you know. But but Levi gives his heart. So I mean, Absolutely. Levi's such a warrior. I love that kid. And but all the young men don't do. They do not need to be down. Um, O9 needs to be very proud of what these guys are doing. Kingston dropped down into single A, and and I, you know, honestly, it's going to be a great rivalry. I love their coach. He's a great guy. Um, you know, and he, one of his young men had done something. He had made him come over and apologize yep. and all those things. I mean, we're, these are young men. They're going to make mistakes. I was having to discipline one young man down here, you know, and that's that's what our job is. You know, they're not they're not perfect and they're not raised yet. And our job is to help these young men, love on them, correct them, provide them discipline, and along the way, you can win a few games. But ultimately, these young men are going to be husbands and fathers, and uh, that's 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 the key. That's the long term plan. You got to you got to keep that in perspective. Look to bounce back on Monday, coach. Oh yes, nice job. Oh, yes. Good to see you. That was post-game comments from head coach Derek Keaton. Indians fall tonight 3-2 to two to the Yellow Jackets of Kingston. Hopefully you will see us back here on Monday night as we will host a doubleheader. Middle school will take on Cumberland Gap at 530. The high school Indians taking on Harriman at 7 o'clock. For everyone involved in the broadcast, this is Bo Kidd signing off. You've been watching the Oneida Indians high school soccer here on Oneida Indians Live. Thank <music> you.